Hello, buenos dias, buenas tardes. My name is Francesca Thiessen Bonimitsa, and I'm speaking on behalf of TBA 21, Thiessen Bonimitsa Art Contemporary, based in Madrid and in Vienna. And I'm feeling very honored to be asked by the city of Malaga, cities and museums, to speak on this conference about the future, how to inspire the future. A TBA 21 has made several initiatives in order to be more active in the digital realm, but I'll tell you more about that later. And I want to go back to the beginning of the pandemic. Sometime in March, I was in isolation with my, my family, my children, and I read an amazing article by an Indian writer, Arundhati Roy, and she wrote an incredible article called COVID as a portal into the future. And this was published in the Financial Times of London. And she writes about how do we move towards a different future in order to live differently, to exist differently, to work differently, and to be together differently. Because this COVID is definitely changing not only our lives, but the whole world around us. And we can look at this as an opportunity to move through into a different future by treading lightly. By that it means leaving all our baggage behind, or at least as much of it as possible. So how much of our routines, of our working ethics, of the way collectors collect, of the way museums run their affairs, and particularly, most important to me of all, are those independent cultural organizations that really nurture the artists that we look to into the future and who give these artists a platform, an opportunity that they're supported by through residencies and through exhibitions in their um, domain. I feel that's something really important. And as we were canceling artists that were going to come and do a lecture performances at the Tissa Museum in Madrid, I felt that we were just participating in the huge cultural loss that was going on around the world and that led us to think differently about the future. Instead of calling them up and canceling, we called them up and said, we cannot host you at the Tissa Museum because it's closed during lockdown. But we would like to continue this relationship with you and we would like to commission you to do a new work, but for a digital platform called Stage, which is a short for the streaming age. And that is a new project that we're just launching at the moment that I feel is a really great opportunity for TBA 21 to re-examine its practice as a commissioning foundation, as a foundation that has always cared and put artists at the center of our practice. It is through them and their very, very particular language that we like to feel that we are expressing our desire for change. And it is through the voices of those artists that we feel that we're achieving that. But it is a moment that where the art world can really step up to the plate and instigate change. I have a fundamental belief that artists have the capacity and the skill to lead us in that direction. And so using digital media is something that gives us all an opportunity to catch up on the most important thing that art historically has always done. Historically, artists have been able and have had a, a history of um, bringing together so many different topics in order to bring um, a point of view across. They've been able to transcend so many different disciplines and bring these stories, narrate them together in order to actually create projects that are profound, that are inspirational, and that sometimes earth shattering. So I really, again, appreciate this opportunity to speak to you. I have a few other little short videos about the project that we're launching that I'm very, very proud of called Stage. 
um, which is actually short for streaming age. We created the stage because we felt a responsibility towards artists and the artistic practice. Because like many others, we experienced a cultural loss because of the cancellation or postponement of so many exhibitions, projects, performances, seminars. And as a result, we felt that this was a perfect opportunity to explore a different medium, to continue to work with everyone, but in order to bring this to a different audience as well. The purpose of the stage is primarily to present the works of art that have been specially commissioned for this project. We also intend to be very transparent about all of the research that the artists have undertaken to produce these works. There's also a fundraising campaign, totally at the discretion of the artists, that allows them to raise funds for individuals or organizations of care that have either participated or inspired these projects, or towards the work itself, in order to, for it to find a bigger manifestation. And there have been some incredible cooperations with other institutions like Flora from Bogota, led by Jose Roca, who's just been nominated to the Sydney Biennial. And we're really, really proud of him for that and very encouraging. From Pooja Sood from New Delhi, who runs really one of the most incredible um, non-profit organizations in Delhi, dealing with young artists from all around India and this Indian subcontinent for that matter. I've spoken to Christina Tome from Beirut, who's given us, um, I don't know, some one of the most moving uh, descriptions of the terrifying situation Beirut finds itself in today. And one of the points that she brought up, which I made a note of, um, which I really want to share with you, if I can find the right page with my one hand, um, but is how do we think together? It's not only how do we work together, but how do we continue to think together? And the fear that she had the most was the intellectual displacement by not being able to communicate in groups and to share our experiences together and to look at how our practice must change in these times. And we are completely reevaluating the way we work together at TBA 21. And I'm sure all of you are doing the same, not just for financial reasons, not just for um, lockdown reasons, but also because fundamentally, I think we know the world has changed around us and the way we were operating before might not be the way of the future. So on this note, um, I say thank you again, muchas gracias, for this opportunity to speak to you. And I hope that things turn around for every one of us and that next time we have one of these fantastic conferences, we can all join hands together and be in a moment of togetherness, looking forward into the future and acting and caring in a different way. Thank <laughs> you.